Hello and welcome back to Westlingers. My name is Maria Barandas. We are back here with the Fluffy Kittens gang. We're ready to, uh, we have Coleman and Ambrose. We are ready to recruit someone new. Uh, we have Sybil, we have Murdy, Luther, Alda, or Albert. Uh, we have one spot available. And let's see, we have Coleman and Ambrose, who kind of look like brothers. Maybe, maybe actually Ambrose would be Coleman's dad, possibly. Um, because they, they, they have the same beard going on here. Uh, we need someone else to fill the, uh, the roles around here. All of kind of, is a cool look. I think we'll go with that. Uh, we kind of see what their traits are. Dexterity. I mean, they're all level one prospects. Uh, so we can try it. Penetration lets them fire bullets through defenses. Yeah, hires, fires high velocity bullets that penetrate through cover and bodies. Fortify, increase damage protection. Nice. Yeah, let's try it. Thousand dollar bounty. Do we pay her bounty? What's the deal here? Okay, so we paid the bounty. Gang is full. We have all the, the people we need right now. Um, so the game is updated once again. Uh, there is the... One of the things we actually mentioned last episode was just changed. And that is the ability to pick up guns from fallen enemies. Which will be huge. Um, that'll be kind of fun to try out here. Uh, Swift's silence in Outlaw we try to recruit has turned on us. The marshals arrive by train to escort him out of town. Kill the snitch and escape. Uh, let's kill, let's take all three. Oh, we only have two guns though. Oh, we have three people with only two guns. Okay, so we can only take one of the, or two of the folks here. Uh, should we take all the out for a try? Or we'll make Ambrose go because he's the more seasoned veteran. We'll bring in all the when it's uh, a little less. Uh, we have another gun here, maybe. We'll see what happens. All right, so we'll go with Ambrose and Coleman then. We can't really use the third person just yet. But um, let's go kill the informant and escape. So saddle up and ride. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, so let's take a look around here quick. We have the, be the Beaver Creek, population 11. There's the railway depot. This is where the train will stop. Then we have a saloon. We'll have to inspect. We have a church, which shouldn't be too heavily fortified. Another saloon. Oh, this is a hotel with a different configuration altogether. Looks like there's no windows for us to dive through this time, so maybe it might be a little difficult. Looks like there is a back door, though. Um, we have the sheriff's office. This is where we need to ultimately get to put down the guy that's sitting inside of there. I'm sure this will be heavily fortified. And then we have to go back all the way across the way, all the way back down to here. Should should be pretty difficult, I think, actually. Well, let's let's get this started here. Let's get them walking up the way here, and we'll take a look. We'll inspect the uh, saloon on our way. See what we're working with here. A couple of lawmen in there. All right. Let's keep moving, moving on. I don't think we want to do that necessarily. Even though there are perks for doing it. Let's go take a look through the window of the church here, see what we're dealing with here. If we secure the church, we get increased cover protection. Might be helpful. Let's get back over here. Let's get a look through the windows of this place and see if we can see anybody. What are you, are you chasing us, Marshall? Huh? Oh, they're suspicious. So someone in the comments told me if I, if I hold shift, I can actually change the way they look, which is helpful. And can look around, get the lay of the land here. Huh? Looks like these guys are probably headed down the sheriff's office then. We can't really get a good look through the windows here unless we get over to the front. All right, so now we have Edmund. Francisco and Jeff the Mark, it looks like. Hey, guys. Edmund's a little suspicious. Oh, our Mark's going that way. Okay. So we have to jump them from cover over here, maybe. Hopefully, we can catch up to them. Oh, they're back across the river already. Oh, my God. We're not fast enough. Maybe we can slow them down with a, a rifle shot. Let's see here quick. Nope, can't do it. Keep it moving, guys. Keep it moving quickly. 
Well, it looks like if we wait until we get they get to the, they're gonna head back to the depot probably. So if we just waited there for them to return, we'll have to see how many guys we have to deal with. We may have missed our opportunity here. Yeah, objective failed. Okay, so by the time they get to the depot, it's already too late. All right, let's start over. Let's try this again here. We need to. They came over there pretty fast. We now that we know what's in these buildings, though, we don't have to stop. We can just kind of mosey on past. Okay, let's just get down over here quick. Let's get this okay, case. So let's get one guy going to the back door, one guy going to the front door. We'll take out our 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 target and then get on back before the marshal gets into town here. Train's just driving now, so we got time. My guys are pretty slow here. So I'm going to say that Coleman should go to the back door. Amber should go to the front door. All right. Now he's going to get a look at what's going on inside of here. Can't see the target. He does have eyes on the sheriff, though. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Coleman, like, barge through the door here. Coleman's going to barge in. Shoot the guy. He's not going to have any cover. He's going to shoot the guy. And then Ambrose is going to jump through the window, shoot the sheriff. I think that's the plan. All right. So, barge in. And pick him out. And I'm going to say draw. And then I'm going to have Ambrose be ready to dump, jump through the window here. At the same time, you start shooting. And draw also. Go. Did he not draw? What's going on here? Okay, we got two down. If we secure it, we can get a bonus for this. Okay, all doors are unlocked. Let's get out of here before they notice anything's gone. Let's holster our weapons. Let's reload our weapons. Let's get back up here. Maybe these, maybe the marshal won't even notice, notice anything's wrong. We're careful here. Oh, we must, might, we might pull this off. Oh, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're okay. I think we made it. They won't notice anything's gone. Escape him by horseback. He saw something. Oh! Oh god. I think you guys should just run. Two wanted. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Just escape. Bullet holes don't matter. Alright, kills two. Silver for time? Not too bad. Gained a 1500 bounty. A promotion for Coleman and almost a promotion for Ambrose. Not bad. So, oh, a bunch of new locations just opened up for us. Okay, cool. Um, so we have Buckhorn, Lackland, or back up to Frostmore. Let's take a look at what we have here. Lackland is the returned favor. Our longtime ally is waiting for execution in Lackland Federal Prison. We have arrived in town just before the marshals in their train. We must hurry to rescue our friend before his scheduled firing squad. Free the prisoner, escape west. Unlock the prison by securing the sheriff's office. Okay. All right, we could do that. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have the dead or alive. Bounties on our heads were posted while we were arresting the hotel in Buckhorn. A federal marshal is hot on our trail. The others will be e also eager to catch into the bounties. Survive until the train arrives. Oh, this is kind of cool one survive until the train arrives embark on the train to escape oh that's kind of cool all right i like i like this one uh we have three guns though now so we can totally get uh oh we only can do two at a time okay so this is a two-man job we only do have three guns but we can still only do two people okay i still don't think we should take a prospect necessarily with us uh i think we have someone with a shotgun and some with a revolver not the rifle because it sounds like we're going to kind of hole up in uh uh, the hotel. 
while we're resting and and federal marshal we're gonna have to kind of take them out as we go here all right let's saddle up we'll see how this goes with just the shotgun and the thing here okay so we got to secure this area to gain confidence secure the saloon to detect, to detect people out of sight and secure the sheriff's office to unlock all doors okay so we're resting in the uh the uh saloon here i think what we'll do is just get everybody out the door here and i'm gonna pull somebody down over here oh we already shot okay i also turned uh i also turned auto targeting off i should shoot why aren't you shooting okay something's wrong here Oh, because they're not facing the right way. Okay, so I gotta I gotta turn it back on. This is this is that's too much to work on with. Let's start over here quick. I I turned the auto-targeting off to avoid problems like uh like we had with the uh with the, where we automatically attack those one one uh, sheriff's uh, deputies. But I think the auto-targeting is necessary right now. So let's go back and turn that on quick here. Auto targeting's on. Got it. Okay, let's reload then. All right, we are back, and uh, now we have auto-targeting on. I was wondering what was going on there. You couldn't see them, is the thing. It's a bit, it's a bit fiddly if it's that, if it's that specific. So I think what we're gonna do is just uh, stick with it how it is. Coleman's shot. Draw on fire, man. Go. Oh, we got a guy coming through the window here. Coleman, you better come up. Oh, we're kind of in trouble here. Oh, 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 Coleman's down. Okay, we got the madam. I don't she might be dead. Okay, let's get out the back door here. If we can. Let's get into this room here, see what's going on. Is anybody in here? Or just you. Oh, we should have taken them out. All right. Now we know. Okay, so. Go through here. Uh, I'm going to have Mr. Shotguns here. Go here. We're going to go here. And Shotgun Man is going to go here and draw. And one down. And now Coleman is in better position and I'm going to put you back over here too to ready for what comes after this happens. All right. Uh, both of you guys. And I'm going to send her out over to here so I can get her out of harm's way. Helping a lot here, I think, as far as keeping us alive. Uh, we might be in trouble now, though. Okay, Goldie, why don't you get in here quick and take a look? What's going on in here? Uh, I think it might be now good, a good time for our boys to get back out of here. Then Ambrose is nearly dead. Uh, Ambrose better go in first, though, and and do this quick here. Nice. Okay, so we can secure this to see where guys are. Okay, so now we can see guys. We know the whereabouts of everyone here. So there's enemies coming from that way. There's a guy in the church. There's nothing in the sheriff's office. We can get out this front door and get over to there quick. Oh, we might have her go that way then. Actually, can I have her pick up a gun? We'll see what she can do. I don't know if we want her to or not, but... If we secure the sheriff's office, we can unlock everything. Oh, nice. Okay. That would be helpful. Now that we know where everybody is, we might just be able to avoid them till the train comes. 
Uh, we need cover though, I think. Oh, it's this hijack down there. Okay, there's a couple guys watching it though. Let's get out through this way. I don't see him becoming our direction. What we should do maybe half through the windows here. I don't know if it's going to be too loud to do that. We can keep an eye out, actually. We can, we've got to wait until the 40 seconds until the train arrives. Nobody knows where we are right now. We just wait, actually. Wait it out. Where's that guy going? Now, if we jump through the windows here, we might be able to draw him out. Let's do that, actually. Do you need to reload? Maybe you just hop through. Okay, get in here quick. Is that guy's gonna stop by the train here? Let's see what happens. That guy just, this guy just tried to stop a train with his body. Uh, all right. We got we one more to go. Now I kind of wish I had the rifle. Okay, cover is better for us now. Can we go on the back side of the train? Oh, this might be good actually. If we get over to that spot there, draw him away. Get around the side of the train here. Oh, Ambrose, run. Run, Ambrose. Don't get shot. We'll get over here. We can do it. We can do it. Hijack the train, guys. Oh, well done. Well done. Two minutes and one second. Seven kills, zero deaths. Not bad. And a promotion for Ambrose. Looking good, Ambrose. Okay, so we have those two missions. We didn't check this one up here first. We have a jailbreak mission. Words of an old, words of an old friend being jailed after... Reached your ears. Free your friend. Kill the captors. Is that the same as before? Free the prisoner from jail. Keep keep the prisoner alive. Kill all the lawmen. I think we've done that before. Okay, it was fastest time. One thirty. So that is a redo. The rival gang who has been pestering our efforts are marching towards the southern outskirts of Frostmore. Make sure they walk into an ambush and end their days. Uh, 3,600 gold for completing in one and a half minutes with zero deaths. All right. I kind of want to try this ambush. Let's try it here. Let's line up here. Uh, we have a spot open. Oh, you know what we should try? Let's go back here quick. There's another mission over here. This is, this is, seems to be getting a new prisoner. So let's see if we can get him on our side here. Uh, I can select three members now. Okay. This will be our fourth then. Um, shotguns for everybody. Now he's got a talent. What's the talent here? Fires... Ricoch bullets ricochet off of walls. Okay. And his talent is carries two revolvers. Went off with a revolver. That's cool. That was a good call with the revolvers then last episode. That was just totally, totally happenstance. All right. So saddle up and ride, guys. All right. So Lackland population 13. Let's take a look around here quick. We have the saloon. Is that it? That's all that's here? Oh, no. It's over here. Oh god, there's a lot going on here. There is the livery to gain speed bonus. Okay. There's the sheriff's office. Okay, so that's where we need to head to eventually. Or the prison. Oh, we have to get past the sheriff's office. Get to the prison. Okay. Oh man. Uh, is there a saloon here? There is a saloon. To, this is this would be worthwhile. That that was super helpful last time. So let's do this. Let's get going here. How many guys are in the saloon? Get one. Get two. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Let's start cornering these guys in a little bit. Huh? We're gonna have a bartender in there too. We can't see him yet, but I'm gonna send uh, Coleman in. No bartender, really.
This guy's not looking now. Oh, now this guy's looking right at Coleman. But Am they don't see Ambrose coming. This guy's watching her. She's gonna jump through the window. Spook him, I think. Actually, we, maybe we should shoot him. And I'm gonna say he should target him. And you should also target him. And I want you to draw. I want you to get into cover and then draw. And we'll see how this goes. Nice. Secure this quick. All right, now we got line of sight on all the guys here. So there's some guys at the camp over here. There's the one guy in the livery. There's the sheriff's office. There's one guy. Nobody in the depot, but there's no bonus for the depot. And there's a lot at the prison. A lot at the prison. Okay. So these guys might start running. Nope, nothing. Okay. Well, let's take a look and see what they got here. Uh, so Anastasia has, let's pick up that shotgun. If we give shot, the, the, if we go over here with Coleman though, Coleman's got that dual wield thing here going on, which is amazing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Now you guys get over here. So we got a dual wielding. Oh, is he not dual wielding though? Oh, he is. Okay, good. Uh, all right. So we have three folks over here. The guy at the livery just left. These guys don't suspect anything right now. So let's let's holster. Let's walk through here. They're holstered. Let's see what happens. Right now, no one suspects anything. Let's walk through here quick. Maybe we can secure this without any violence. Prisoner execution in one second. Oh, wait a second here. Oh, we were not fast enough. Okay, start over here. All right, we got to go quickly then. We have no time to waste, you know, lining up around here. We have 52 seconds to get to the thing. Okay, so we got to just buzz past all this stuff. Now that we know where everything is, though, we're good. We got to focus on just the sheriff here. Not the sheriff, just, just the prison over here. It's going to take us a long time to walk past these folks. Keep it moving, guys. Keep it moving. Come on, guys. They're out running the train, at least. That's good. All right. We need a plan of attack here. There's no windows in the prison. We have two guys. Uh, Coleman, I want you here. Try to try to try to surround him if we can. I want you here. All right, here we go. And uh, we have to get we have to get hot with this right now. And this guy's not getting watched. So I'm gonna draw on you, and she's just gonna walk this way. I double back and shoot him. Nice. Now there's one guy left in there. We know from before. Maybe he'll come out. That would make it our lives real easy. Oh no, he's not. Okay, we gotta get him then. There's Alita and is anybody else coming? Okay, that's all that's in here. Or is there? Oh, we can't get in there though, can we? Oh, here we go. Oh, they just walked right in and killed him. Okay, we have to reload. This is the other thing too here. Start over. We got this though. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Same as before. Let's walk all the way down. Set up shop over here. Don't waste any time. Can we increase the speed at all? 
No. These guys were not very suspicious before. Or moved on quick enough that they didn't care. I mean, uh, you know, Alda is the the most suspicious one of us. We're in a classic outfit. But uh, okay, now let's pick our spots here quick. Let's get you over here. Let's get you over here, and all that you walk past over to here. And once we get into there. I guess the other thing we could do is send somebody back quick to take out some other things here. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's uh, get hot here quick. And all this is gonna walk. Okay, so I want you you guys get get. Uh, you guys are gonna go go go. Uh, no, not that. You guys are going to draw, shoot him, and then target him. And she's going to go after him. Oh, nice. Okay, so nothing there. Now we got this guy coming from over here. So I, what I want to do is have her go into here. I want him to be in here. I want him to be uh, a distraction for now. I'm going to have him holster. And I need everyone to reload, actually. She hasn't fired a shot yet. Okay, so he's holstered. Is he reloaded? Okay, he's good. The door should be closed. Okay, that's fine. I want you facing this way. I want you facing this way. We're ready to go. And I want... Oh, they saw him. They saw him. Don't walk over there. Just, just look at him. Don't walk anywhere. There we go. I think we're good. Is this a better shotgun than what we have? Let's quick here, check here quick. No, I think it's about the same. All right, you two re reload. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all the here. I'm gonna send Coleman and Ambrose back because the sheriff's probably suspicious by this time. Um, and she'll be ready to escort, escort our buddy out of here as soon as we get the doors unlocked. There's, oh, oh, we saw the guns. Okay. Cover, 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 cover. Cover, cover, cover. And. This guy's watching the door there. If you sneak up, Ambrose, you might be able to get him. Got him. Nice. Let's get in there and secure this quick. All, all doors unlocked. Uh, Maddie can get out now. Go grab a gun. Alright, so Maddie's got a gun. Let's reload both of these folks here. Has all even fired a shot yet? Let's meet up over here. We gotta get everyone to the west then. Here to huh? All right, I'm gonna have her wait back because these folks actually aren't suspicious yet. So I might be able to get positioned on the next folks here. We'll bring Maddie in second and take her by surprise if need be, because these folks are suspicious over here. I'm just going to walk down into here quick and see if we can secure the livery without and taking any shots or anything like that. Huh? Well, can't do it. All right, there's that. And I'm going to have the holster right away here. Reload. 
I think these folks are coming, so we gotta stand back here. Oh, here we go. This guy's drawn already. Oh, get, in, get inside now, Ambrose. Get inside. Okay, movement hastened. Okay, cool. So, that took care of two guys over here. Let's see if we can get Maddie to take a look. Okay, a couple guys wanted. Not seeing anything, huh? There's Urban. Can we get over here quick before without being seen? Okay, so far, so good. Um... Let's get over here quick. And let's holster up. Let's reload. Got two guys wanted now. Let's see if we can get through here without being seen by Urban over here. So far, so good. Okay, we got it. It's four horses. Loving it. Loving it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was a fun one. Eight kills, zero deaths, and a gold medal. That is fantastic. And enough XP to level up all the... That's what we like to see. Now, do we get that person we just helped escape? No, we don't. But we have two spots left. Oh, cool. So we can hire on some more people. Man, holy cow. We got a lot of options now. Well, just so we have all the archetypes represented here, do we want Luther or, the, or Albert the regular? Oh, man. We can hire regulars now for 2,000 bounty. Uh, he's got loot, loot corpse. What does this do? Swap weapons with the closest corpse once permission. Really? We, can't everybody do that? Or is it just like uh, magical the property? Bribery. Oh, bribe a single person to turn a blind eye to your deeds and also see his vision. That is cool. That is cool. Um, I like that idea. I want to hire. I want to hire Murdy here to uh, do some uh, do some uh, bribery. And then we have Sybil, who can do a throw knife. Throw a knife in a straight line that instantly kills one victim. I'm guessing it's quiet too. I'm guessing it's a quiet thing. I'm gonna hire a Sybil as well. That might be nice as well. All right, we're doing it. Cool. We got a posse here now. It's looking pretty good. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of West Slingers. Let me know what you think of the game down in the comments. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, one of the things I did mention last episode is there's no permadeath. And uh, the developer reached right out to me and said, hey, that is uh, an option that unlocks when you finish the game the first time so after you get through the, the main game the first time here you can replay it with the permadeath on uh, and then he also put a post up on the updates log on steam saying that uh, he plans to make the permadeath option available from the start so you can play it through the first time with that on and then also a roadmap for iron mad mode being added on which i'm guessing is you have to get through all the missions with zero deaths or your deaths are all permanent um, failures of mission, you know, ends, ends the game possibly. That could be, that could be interesting too, if we really want to get deep into the game. But, uh, so far it's been very, very interesting. I've been enjoying it. Uh, again, let me, let me hear your thoughts on the game and, uh, what you guys think of it. And, uh, then I'll see you back for the next episode. Have a good night.